Hey, it's Sam here, and this is the Warmer SK75 TMR. It's a tri mode magnetic switch keyboard with an 8000Hz polling rate and ultra low latency in an aluminium case priced around $130. So, is this keyboard better for gaming? Let's find out. In the box, there's the user manual booklet, a switch and keycap puller, a Type A to Type C cable, the 2.4 GHz wireless receiver, three extra magnetic switches, a few macOS and extra keycaps, a hard plastic protective cover, and the keyboard itself, which is quite heavy, just under 2 kg or 4.4 pounds. Moving on to the design, the keyboard looks quite nice and has the standard 75% exploded layout with the Warmia logo above the arrow keys, the on-off switch hidden under the caps lock key, the Type-C port in the middle on the back, an 8 degree typing angle in this powder coated aluminium case, and 4 non slip feet on the bottom with a gradient mirror finish weight in the middle. Besides that, the keyboard has Cherry Profile Double Shot PBT keycaps that matches with the case, Otemu T magnetic switches that are pre loop and have a light and snappy feel, pre loop plate mounted stabilizers with no rattle, a top mounted FR4 plate for stable performance and feel, and a 5 pin hot swap self facing PCB with per key RGB that supports both mechanical and magnetic switches. Diving into the components, the case still uses screws and there are 6 holding the top and bottom case together. With the screws removed, the cable connecting to the daughter board has to be disconnected for the plate and PCB to be released. In the bottom case, there's an EPDM case form and PET film to dampen the typing noise, two batteries that are 8000mAh in total, connected to the daughter board in the middle which are all held in the weight with another 6 more screws. As for the plate and PCB, there's just a poron foam sandwich in the middle and the plate is top mounted to the case with 8 screws. Not only that, the plate and PCB is mounted together with another 8 smaller screws. Carrying on to the software, the keyboard supports the Warmia driver. In here, you can remap the layers and keys with macros, media and mouse functions, calibrate all of the magnetic switches, Set the actuation and reset points while testing the keys. Enable settings like rapid trigger. Select the supported magnetic switches. Access advanced settings like dynamic keystroke, mod tab, toggle, and snap key for a better gaming experience. And set the sleep timer for the modes as well. Apart from that, you can also set different functions. Record and import macros. Configure the RGB lighting effects, speed, and brightness. Share and view what other keyboard users have done, log in to save and access previous projects, and update the software and firmware for the keyboard here. As for the performance, the keyboard has an 8000Hz polling rate, an accuracy of 0.01mm and an ultra low latency of 0.125ms in wired mode. This amounts to a really smooth and fast gaming experience with little to no lag or latency. I will recommend using wired mode for more fast paced or first person shooters for the lowest latency but casual gaming with the wireless modes is fine as well. The typing experience on the other hand is just okay in my opinion as there isn't much here. Don't get me wrong, the switches are smooth and fast but just lacks a bit of feedback and sound as it's quite silent when in use. Anyway, here is some gameplay with the keyboard followed by the typing sound test, please enjoy.
Okay, here are my final thoughts on the Warmer SK75 TMR. Overall, I think it's a great gaming keyboard that performs really well thanks to the high-end specs. Design-wise, it's simple and effective too with just a clean and minimal case. Speaking of the case, I would love to see a quick access version in the future, as this still requires a lot of unscrewing to access the components inside. But again, it's still packed full with mods and features, and for $130, it's another great magnetic switch keyboard. So if you're interested in the Warmer SK75 TMR, it will be linked in the description below and that does it for this video. Thanks to Warmer for the keyboard and thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one.